I am Agnes Loriba. I work for Care International in Ghana. I'm speaking on the topic of using veterinary service as an entry point to transform gender norms. Do smallholder livestock keepers still matter in today's food systems? I'll say yes, they do. They do because in Ghana, over 3 million livestock keepers and their families depend on livestock for food and income. Goats and chicken are particularly important for women's livelihoods. However, viral infections such as PPR in goats and Newcastle disease in chicken cause high mortality, thereby affecting their livelihoods. Vaccines are available. However, use of vaccines by women is limited. This is because there's low demand for vaccines by women, the vaccine delivery system doesn't necessarily target women, and there are challenges with the cold chain. Our team of three key institutions composed of Care International in Ghana, the International Livestock Research Institute, and Cow Tribe Technology Limited is researching to understand what it takes to develop a vaccine delivery system that works for both women livestock keepers and women service providers. How are we transforming gender norms in this sector? We are doing this by working with communities to understand the cultural and traditional practices that limit ability of women to access vaccines and to also serve as vet officers. So far, we have understood the key norms. These include the fact that women cannot declare ownership of their animals, they cannot participate in selling the animals, and then um, women vets are considered not as equally capable, and some traditional beliefs, um, such as the fact that when a woman is menstruating and visits an animal pen, the animals will die. We, are, we have recruited two female vets on the project to understand the potential of reaching women farmers through women vets. We are also rolling out a digital person delivery system that enables both male and female farmers register to have the animals vaccinated. And we have invested in providing refrigeration for vaccines. We are seeing potential of these approaches and we see some impacts so far. We see that vaccine awesome demand by women has increased. 4,000 women are accessing vaccines through the vaccine delivery system and we deliver over 10,000 doses of vaccines annually. The female vets feel more accepted uh, by the communities. More than 91% of farmers report satisfaction with the service they receive from them. We have reduced vaccine wastage by a third. Re achieving the potential of transforming food systems in Africa through the livestock sector depends on the vaccine delivery system that works for both male and female farmers. Based on lessons of our work, these are our three key recommendations. One lesson is that is both male and female vet officers to target women with vaccines. Two, let's encourage women to train as vet officers so that we can have more female vets. And three, let's improve cold chain by working with the private sector. I'll end by thanking our donors, the, the International Development Research Center, the Bill and Belinda Gates Foundation, and Global Affairs Canada.